Ooh, another one. Wow, this farm is so great. It's like non-stop golems. What's up, guys? Jason here. Welcome to episode 30 of Multiplayer Minecraft Survival. In this episode, I'm back here with my friend Mackenzie. Hey, guys. We're going to be making an iron farm. All right, guys. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to make a little villager breeder so we can get a bunch of villagers for this farm. All right, guys. We're going to start off by building up five blocks. Then we'll place some blocks over here as well. All right, nice. Finish that little front wall. Now we're going to add a dispenser over here. Powered rail, then a couple of regular rails. Then we're going to put a minecart in here. Now we're going to add a button. This will allow us to take baby villagers out of the villager breeder. All right, now put some glass on top. I want to try to make this as fast as possible because I want to get started on the iron farm soon. Yeah. All right, nice. You just finished the little glass chamber over here. Now I'm going to place a solid block right over here. Then a couple trap doors. Actually, guys, I'm going to mine a little bit down. Then I'm going to try to place a water bucket right over there. This water will push all the baby villagers that come down from this spot down over there. Once the baby villagers are pushed over here, then we just hit this button. And I'll dispense a minecart, which will take them out of the villager breeder. I'm going to replace these blocks over here that I broke earlier. Some ladders right over here. Now I'm going to place a compost over here and a compost over here. These would be the workstations for the villagers that we're going to bring. I need you to bring two villagers over here to this villager breeder. You think you can do it? Yes. <laughs> All right, nice. All right, guys, while Mackenzie's going to get two villagers, I'm going to make a little temporary staircase over here so we can transport them into the spot of the villager breeder. Mackenzie's going to take them over here with the boat and a lead. Hey, Mackenzie, are you almost here? Come on, bring them over. Yeah, I got the villager. Nice. All right. We're going to take them over here, then lure them up with the minecart and rails into the spot. Alright. Come on, buddy. Get in the minecart. Get him in the minecart. Ooh, don't All right. Nice, we got him. <laughs> oh, nice, a line right over it. Oh, he didn't f quite fall in, but I think you can nudge him in. Alright, there we go. We got one. Nice. Alright, Mackenzie, go get the other one now. Yeah. Alright, there you go. Right oh, on top. Like, perfect lined up. Nice, we got him right in there. Now we can break this rail nice. and temporary staircase. All right, now I'm going to make a little 5x4 block platform. This will be where we're going to place our beds. Now I'm going to place one bed over here and one over here. Oh, as you guys can see there, the after place the beds, they have turned into farmers and linked to those workstations. Now I'm going to place the rest of the beds. Four over here and then four over here. Now I'm just going to place a block over here to get up. I'm going to place a dispenser over here facing downwards. And I'm going to break these blocks they placed earlier and place on a lever. Now I'm going to put some carrots in here. By the way, if you guys are using this villager breeder, you guys can use the wheat, potatoes, or carrots. I just chose to use carrots because I have a lot of those. And boom, perfect, guys. We just finished the villager breeder right there. Now, hey. all right, now I'm going to feed them. All right, come on, guys. We better start breeding. <laughs> Yeah, basically how this farm works is when they breed, a baby villager will get produced and then it'll see the trapdoors as full blocks. So they'll walk down here. Then when we're ready, we can just take them out using this minecart system. Oh, Ooh, we got villager. our first baby villager. All right, guys, now we moved an area that is over 100 blocks away from the villager breeder and over 100 blocks away from any villages, beds, or workstations. Now I'm going to start making the iron farm. So I'm going to build up four blocks. One, two, three, four. Kenzie and I are going to make a 20 by 20 block solid block platform. All right, perfect, guys. We just finished filling in this 20 by 20 block solid block platform. Now we're going to build walls that are two blocks high. All right, Mackenzie, help me out with this part, too. Okay. All right, nice. Now we built these two block high walls. We're going to place some leaves on top. By the way, the reason why we're placing leaves is to prevent iron golems from spawning all the walls. Now we've done that. I'm going to come over to one corner, place a block over here, then five blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five. Five blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five. One over here. Three over here, three over here, one over here, and finally one over here and one over here. Now I'm going to repeat making this little shape on each corner. So block, then five more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, one, and one. All right, now guys, we're gonna make a little temporary infinite water source on the side just so we can use two water buckets to fill in all the water for this entire farm. Take a water bucket, and first let's just place one water bucket in each corner. Oh. Alright, nice. Now we've placed all the corner waters. Now we're going to place one 
on each of the side walls just like this. By the way, the reason why we're doing this is so that all our water will flow until there's only four blocks left in the center. All right, guys, we just finished placing all our water, and as you guys can see there, it all flows right before hitting those center four blocks. Now I'm going to go to the center and break these four blocks. All right, perfect. Now I'm going to create a little tube all around this. All right, nice. Now I'm going to place four blocks on the ground. All right, now I'm going to place two buttons over here and two buttons over here. All right, guys, now I'm going to place a lava bucket right over here. And as you guys can see there, the little buttons will suspend the lava in the air. This will kill the iron golems. Now I'm going to break four blocks down. So one, two, three, four. All right, now I'm going to break out two blocks this way, just so I can easily access this part of the farm. All right, now I'm going to place a magma block over here. And I'm going to break these two blocks. And I'm going to break this block as well. Now I'm going to place down a double chest, hopper, rail, minecart with the hopper. All right, perfect. This hopper system will funnel all the iron down into this chest. Now I'm going to place a block over here to keep it in place. I'm going to place a torch over here to prevent mob from spawning. And also place some ladders over here so I can easily access it. All right, guys, to finish off this kill chamber collection system, I'm going to break this block. Then I'm going to place a water bucket right over here, right diagonally opposite from that magma block. Now I'm going to replace this block. So basically, the reason why I place that water is because it will push all the iron golems to the magma block, which is where the iron will be funneled down into the collection system. All right, guys, now I'm going to make a little center platform, which is going to be where we're going to place our beds later on. So I'm going to come over here, build three blocks up. So one, two, three. All right, now I'm going to build four blocks this way. So one, now I'm going to build three blocks this way. One, two, three. All right, now I'm going to build, place one block over here facing that way. And finally, four blocks this way. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to fill in this little platform. All right, guys, now that we finished making that eight by six block platform that is perfectly aligned in the center of the farm, we're going to move on and create our glass villager enclosures. All right, right before we do that, we're going to fill in this infinite water source and break it. Our glass villager enclosures will need to be across from the eight block long side of the center platform. So basically, Mackenzie's going to make her side over there, and I'll make my side right over here. Yes, now I'm going to come over here, which is a corner of the farm. Then I'm going to place a solid block, then another solid block over here, then a glass block. And I'm going to break these two solid blocks. Now I'm going to extend out 20 glass blocks this way. One, two, three. Now that I've finished making this little glass line, I'm going to place two glass blocks over here. Let's give a block, place another two, and just keep doing that until you get to the other side. All right, perfect. Now that I've made that. I'm going to place just a row of glass right in front. All right, guys, now I'm going to come to this back part over here and just place a glass wall all along the back. I'm going to place another row on top, just like this. By the way, the reason why we need to use glass blocks is because glass blocks will prevent iron golems from spawning on the villager enclosure. All right, now I'm going to place a glass block right in front of each of these capsules, just like this. All right, perfect. I just finished my glass villager enclosure and Mackenzie finished hers. So basically we have 10 capsules on each side and each capsule is going to be where we're going to later take a villager. All right, now we're going to make a little infinite water source again, right on the side so we can place some water inside the capsules. All right, now I'm going to place a solid block over here just to get up here. All right, guys, now I'm going to place a water bucket in each of these capsules. By the way, the reason why I need to do this is so that the villagers will not delink from their workstations once we bring them to the farm. All right, perfect. We just finished placing water in each of these capsules. Now I'm going to fill in this infinite water source because we don't need water anymore. And we're going to break it. All right, so now Mackenzie and I are going to make a little temporary staircase on each side just so we can use rails to take villagers up into each capsule. All right, guys, we had the villager beater. We linked the rails. Now I'm going to hit this button to try to take one villager out. All right, boom, we got one. I'm going to try transporting it over. By the way, guys, one tip I have for you when taking villagers up here is actually to temporarily place some solid blocks around so that when you get the villager up here in a minecart, you can just break the minecart up here and just gently nudge him in to this little capsule. Once the villager has been pushed into the capsule, then place a glass block right on top of it. Then you guys can break all the temporary blocks that you use to get the villager into the villager capsule. 
Now we are going to continue this process until we have a villager in each of the 20 villager capsules. Mackenzie and I just finished taking all 20 villagers over to our iron farm. Now we're going to go over to our villager breeder. By the way, we did place some extra beds just so that we can get the villager breeder to produce more villagers at a time. Now we're going to break this entire thing down so that we can ensure that all of our villagers in our iron farm will link to the beds and workstations that we're going to place at the iron farm. Alright guys, now we're going to come over here to this little center platform. And I'm going to break out the four center blocks. These blocks should be the blocks that are directly aligned over this lava kill chamber. I'm also going to break these two blocks over here. I just used those blocks earlier so that I can make this platform. So now I'm going to come over here, place down a bed. And as you guys can see there, a villager should link to the bed. It'll show green particles over the bed if a villager has linked to it. I'm going to place another one over here. I'm going to place one over here and one over here. I'm just going to keep doing this this way. All right, now that I place those, I'm going to place two over here. So one, two. And finally, I'm just going to place the last eight beds over here. All right, guys, perfect. I just finished placing all 20 beds in a formation just like this. Now I'm going to break the solid block platform that I used to place the beds. Alright guys, for the final step, I'm going to come to a corner of the farm, then I'm going to place a workstation over here. I'm going to look, as you guys can see there, a villager should link to it, it'll show green particles. Tip guys, you can even place a solid block on top just to mark it temporarily, then break the workstation. Then, go to that villager, break the glass block in front, and then place the workstation in front. And as you guys can see there, it should link right to it. Then after doing that, break the block that you place on top to mark where it is. All right, I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to place down a workstation over here in a corner. Then I'm going to wait until green particles appear above it. All right, so oh, I know that right bridge are linked to it. So I'm going to put a solid block on top just to mark it off. Now I'm going to break this workstation. And I'm going to come over here to that villager, break the glass block in front, and place down a workstation in front. And after a few seconds, it should link. As you guys can see, they just linked. Now I'm going to break this solid block that I used to mark it. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I have linked each villager to a workstation in front of it. All right, guys, perfect. We finished linking each villager to a workstation in front of it. Now we're going to wait over here and watch for Iron Golems to spawn. Ooh, check that oh. out, guys. An Iron Golem just spawned. And as you guys can see there, it will get pushed into the center lava. Then it will die, and all of its drops will get funneled down into the collection's chest. We check that out. Another one already spawned. Man, this thing is so good. Ooh, another one. Wow, this farm is so great. It's like non-stop golems. All right, let's go check on the collections chest now. Let's see how much iron we got. Nice, already 33 iron. It's only been like a couple minutes. If you guys want to learn how to make this iron farm step by step, make sure you go check out my simple iron farm tutorial. A link to this tutorial will be in the description. Also, if you guys want to make the villager breeder that I used to make this iron farm, make sure you go check out my simple 1.16 villager breeder tutorial. A link to the tutorial will be in the description as well. I hope you'll enjoy this episode of Multiplayer Minecraft Survival. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions of what we should do in future episodes. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every other day. Thanks for watching!